Well, thank you for being here tonight. I'm uh, Don Peoples. I'm superintendent and president, uh, president of Youth Central Catholic Schools. And it's a, it's a great honor to be here tonight. I'm just thrilled with the, the number of people that came to hear our presentation. Um, it's, it's really amazing to see all of our faculty members who uh, made an effort to be here tonight. It says a lot about their dedication to our schools. Yeah, we're very excited this evening to introduce our, our new faculty members along with our uh, returning veterans who are amazing. We know that there were a lot of questions and, and uh, uh, regarding the, the upcoming school year, especially at the end of the year, uh, but we're just thrilled with the staff that we've assembled, uh, some of the programs we have planned, and so it's just a great pleasure to be here this evening to uh, tell you about the great things that are going to happen this fall in, in View Central Catholic Schools. So before we get, begin, uh, please join me in prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Dear Lord, thank you for today. Thank you for the ways in which you provide for us all, for your protection and love that we thank you for. Help us to focus on our hearts and minds now that we are about to learn. Inspire your Holy Spirit as we listen and write. Guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. We ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Again, uh, thank you for being here this evening. Um, I would like to thank our, again, thank our teachers for being here tonight. I'd like to extend a special thank you to our elementary and junior high principal, uh, Mrs. Don Ann Peterson, for her great work in uh, preparing for this school year. I would also like to thank our administrative team uh, for all their great work uh, over the last uh, several weeks since school's been out. And we're just really thrilled to be able to tell you about our schools as we get ready to go. Um, again, as I mentioned, we're truly excited about the faculty that we've assembled to, to serve our students in the upcoming school year. We have an amazing group of returning veteran teachers who will be joined by an excellent group of new teachers. We're blessed to have assembled an incredible staff, and I'm positive that you'll be very impressed when you meet everybody tonight. Before Mrs. Peterson and I uh, introduce our staff, I would like to, to share some great news about our schools. The, the first thing I'm, I'm thrilled to report about tonight is that our elementary and high school are, are both growing. We are projecting our enrollment will be up uh, 40 students or more by the time fall arrives. Uh, that's in, our, in kindergarten through high school. And uh, Sue just told me as uh, I came in tonight that we had more calls today, so the enrollment continues. So that's really exciting. I'm also very excited to report that our school system has been blessed by the most successful year in fundraising in school history. Uh, thanks to the hundreds of parents, alumni, and friends, we have strengthened our, fi our, our financial foundation as a school system. I would like to, to single out and, and uh, acknowledge uh, two anonymous donors who made sig significant gifts to our school, one who established a teacher bonus fund and one who established a scholarship challenge. I would also like to thank uh, the Town Pump Charitable Foundation and the Canale family for renewing a $1 million commitment to our schools to benefit, to benefit teacher salaries, scholarships, and educational resources. Uh, they will contribute $100,000 a year for the next 10 years as part of that grant uh, gift. And then finally tonight, yeah, let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> finally, I'd like to thank Mr. Roy Zimperman from the class of 1958. As most of you know, uh, he's been extremely generous to our schools in the last year. Uh, he sponsored a $250,000 scholarship match which enabled us to raise a half million dollars for scholarships this year. And this June, when he found out that we implemented a, a, a 3% tuition increase, uh, and we, we did that primarily to help enhance our teacher salaries for the upcoming year, um, he stepped forward with, with a commitment to cover all planned tuition increases for every family in our school system. So he contributed $120,000 to cover all planned tuition increases for next year. So we can't go a moment without thanking Roy. So I'd like to invite Don Ann Peterson to come up, come forward to introduce her amazing staff. Hi, everyone. 
Hope everyone is uh, having a great summer. It always seems like uh, as the weather gets nicer, we get closer to school starting. That's the downfall. So anyhow, I just want to thank, for those of you that don't know me, I've been at the elementary, this is my first year, K through eight. And I just want to thank, first off, all the families that I have met so far. Uh, I've just been just so impressed with all the support and the smiles that come through the door, and I just have thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, of course, I wouldn't have been able to survive this year without all of our teachers and our staff. Um, they just did a great job surrounding me and supporting me my first year. Nobody tried to throw me out that I know of, so <laughs> I was pretty happy about that. They're, they're, all, they're all great. So it's evident that I'll be back, right? <laughs> Here I am. So anyhow, and Dawn, I want to thank Dawn too. We've gotten to know each other probably way better than you ever thought you would have to get to know me, but <laughs> it's been good so far. Uh, so I'll just take this time. We do have some new staff, and I'm so I want to introduce all of our staff for the K through eight. We have some new members, and but I will start with our preschool, um, and that would be Sherry Mihailich and Carrie Rowan. Carrie's back there. You want to just wave? Sherry's not with us. Do a great job at our preschool. Our kindergarten teacher is Missy Turner. If you look Missy up, or a kindergarten teacher up in the dictionary, Missy is in there with a child attached to her leg, with her cute little kindergarten apron. Um, also, Pam Olson, where's Pam? Pam has been a lifesaver for us, this for me this, um, this year. Thank you, Pam. Uh, Pam is going to be assigned to helping kindergarten this year as the teacher assistant in there. So they will make a great pair. First grade is Megan Paskey. <laughs> Megan's a great teacher. Megan has done a great job taking on everybody and anyone this school year. So thanks, Megan. Second grade. So we kind of are doing something a little bit different this year with second grade. We have Peggy Cambich coming back. And Peggy Cambich and Kara Button, who is another elementary teacher, she taught with us last year part-time. And her and Peggy are going to co-teach one of the second grade classes. So we're really excited because they really, truly are two remarkable teachers. So we're really fortunate to see how, that's, how that plays out. And I know it'll be great. It'll be positive. Our other second grade teacher is new to us, and that's Brenna Combs. Where are you at, Brenna? Oh, I'm staring right at you. Come on, she's new. The new ones have to come up. And Brenna, she comes to us from uh, Western Montana College, right? Yeah, we're excited to have her. <laughs> She's excited to be here, right? I am. Yeah. <laughs> Third grade returning is Carmi Dunbar. Last year, I had to move Carmi from the upper level after a lot of years to the bottom level because of, you know, need for certain classrooms, and I'm sorry, Carmi. I will never move you again, I promise. <laughs> Fourth grade is returning as Bard Peoples. <laughs> Bard is another one of our tenure teachers, and we love her. <laughs> I didn't say old. <laughs> okay, and also uh, returning is Caroline Ross. She is right there. Say hi, Caroline. Caroline taught last year one of our fourth grade classes, and this year she's going to teach one of our fifth grade classes because we're splitting our fifth grade this year. So Caroline will be teaching one of our fifth, and our second hire was, her name is Kelsey Pierce. She's going to teach the other fifth grade. Kelsey has an associate's in early childhood development from Dawson Community College. She has her bachelor's in education, K through eight from University of Montana Western, and she's currently working on her master's in curriculum and instruction. And sixth through eighth, we are moving sixth grade back down to the middle school this year, in case you haven't heard. I believe we, we did send out a letter at the end of the school year notifying all the parents. We believe that, well, we needed the room for one thing, because the elementary is growing, and it just made sense to put the sixth grade back down in the junior high. 
Um, and one of the things I heard a lot last year from the seventh and eighth graders were, it just seems so empty down here. You know, we would like some more kids. So bringing the sixth grade down does, make, does grow it. And so the sixth grade class that's going to be down there, they're really excited to be in the junior high. They couldn't bear being in the elementary for one more year, they told me. So anyhow. Um, so Alex Rouse is going to be teaching down at the junior high. She's made the leap down to junior high. And she's going to be teaching social studies, PE, and health. Our new science teacher at the junior high, her name is Kathy Little. Where are you at, Kathy? And Kathy has a bachelor's in physical science from Indiana State University, and we're excited to have her aboard. She brings a lot of energy, so we're excited. <laughs> you do. Our new ELA teacher down at the junior high is uh, actually is a returnee, Sabrina Holland Kump. <laughs> Sabrina taught English up at the high school I did. It, a few years back, a couple. Couple, couple years back, and I've heard wonderful things about her, so we're really excited, and I'm sure you guys are all excited at the high school to get her too. So Sabrina actually has her bachelor's in secondary education in English from the University of Montana, a minor in German from University of Montana. She's currently working toward Masters in English Lit and Writing at MSU, and she's going to be uh, the head speech and debate coach at the high school. <laughs> Becky Peoples. So Becky is returned. Where are you at, Becky? I know I see you. So Becky's going to go and back and teach uh, religion at the junior high. However, we have created a new position, and it's a, it's a religious coordinator. So Becky's going to be responsible for overseeing religion K through 8, as far as making sure what needs to get implemented is, and just to build our, you know, make our Catholic identity even better and stronger than it is. So it'll be really nice to have that one person go to to make sure, uh, you know, everything is done accordingly, and I know she'll do a great job. She has lots of experience in that area. Brianna Rosen is going to be teaching art this year. In a part-time level, and then she's also going to be a teacher assistant, I believe, helping mostly in first grade as well. So, Brianna is our go-to person. If we want something cool on the wall or painted or made or arts or crafts, she's who we call, or I call. Thanks, Brianna. <laughs> We also have hired uh, Mark Leonard. I don't know if he's here. I don't see him. If he could make it or not. I think he had to maybe work. Anyhow, we hired him. He is a full-time teacher. He also has his special education, K through 8. And he is going to be our 6th grade math teacher. And he's also going to be a part-time resource teacher as well. So aside from Mark, we have Carla Alborn, who is our primarily our resource teacher full-time. So she's going to get this help from Mark. Mark also has his certification in special education. So we're really excited to bring him, you know, to the school and to be able to add that, that need. So we're excited. So he also has a lot of energy. We're excited to have him. Uh, let's see. Diane Johnson. She, everyone knows her as the high school teacher at math. At the math. At the high school math teacher. She is going to be teaching 7th and 8th grade math down at the junior high. So we're working really hard on trying to really coordinate, make that transition for our seventh and eighth graders to be prepared for the high school level. So I think it'll be, it'll, it'll work out great. And I know Diane's gonna talk a little bit more about that in a minute as soon as I hurry up, okay? So anyhow, we will continue to have, uh, did you want to talk the programs or just? We'll do that next week. Okay. Yeah, she's not here either. So Caroline Burns, she is our music teacher and she is not here, I don't see her. Who? I can't hurt too soon. But anyhow, she's our music teacher. She's been here for, this is the second year, K through eight. I have you, Mariah. <laughs> um, K through eight, and she's been, a real, she's been an asset to our music program. The kids love her. She also has great energy, so it's been fun. And last but not least, sorry, Mariah, I didn't forget you. I'm like, who are you pointing at? So Mariah, Te Mariah Tech, but it's Mariah Peck. 
she handles all of our technology needs, and she is also, this last year she taught K through eight technology, and uh, this year, in literature, and this year she's going to be doing, you know, the computer science stream of it for the junior high, and also she'll still continue to uh, do some technology needs for our little kids as well. So, anyhow. Well, thank you, Don Ann. There's no question that's a, a very dynamic and exciting group of teachers that we'll have in our school um, in the pre, uh, preschool through eighth grade program. So I get the great uh, honor or distinction to introduce our high school faculty and staff. Um, we have uh, several new teachers, and I'm just thrilled with the, uh, the caliber of teachers that we were able to hire at the high school. And uh, in addition to those folks, we have a, a great group of returners, as I mentioned earlier. So, uh, just to go through our high school faculty real quickly. Our PE and health teacher, who will, who will also teach art and computer awareness, is Christine Castillo. Christine was on our staff last year. One of the things that we're going to add to our PE and health program this year is Mr. Tom Peterson, who is one of our uh, assistant football coaches, will teach a zero-hour strength and conditioning program, so that will be great for um, a PE and health option for our student body. Uh, our religion faculty uh, is outstanding. Christine Larson will return. Christine's been with us for several years. And it's always uh, fulfilling and exciting to see a BC grad return home. And so joining our religion and theology staff will be Shaylin LaFleur. Shaylin has a BA in secondary education in, uh, in English from the University of Montana Western and a master's in, the in theology from the University of Notre Dame. So that's pretty impressive. Our math staff is, is phenomenal. Uh, we had just met Diane Johnson who's been on our staff. And she's joined by her partner teacher, Dr. Denise Alakovich, who was a, a former college professor. Um, and the two of them, I believe, are the best math department in the state of Montana. No question, right? The uh, next young man I'd like to introduce uh, will be teaching Spanish one and two. Come on up, Israel. It's Mr. Israel Aguilar. So Israel will be, will be teaching Spanish 1 and 2, so it's great to have foreign language uh, on campus again. Um, he will also be serving as a, a college placement and planning transition specialist, and he'll be the director of the Bishop Thomas Scholars Academy, which we're going to talk about in a minute. And Israel uh, comes to us from the state of Washington with a BA in education in social studies from Eastern Washington University. We told him uh, during the fall he has to have Grizz and Bobcat gear on his wall, so, right? <laughs> so our English department for the high school next year. We're pleased and, and uh, excited to have Mr. Kevin Edgar returning. <laughs> Kevin, as we know, has, has been on our social studies staff, and he also has... Uh, a minor in English, so he's uh, certified in English. He's a master's degree teacher. He'll also be teaching or working in uh, the speech and debate program as an assistant coach and will help with our drama program, which we hope to introduce in a, in a big way this spring and, uh, and fall. So thanks, Kevin. Great to have you back. Our other uh, English teacher that we've added to our staff this year is Amanda Ernstberger. Come on up, Amanda. Amanda will serve on our English staff, as I mentioned. She'll help with drama, and she'll also work in the Esther Cody Resource Program in the afternoon to assist students with uh, special learning needs. Amanda has an Associate of Science from the University of Montana Western and a, B a BA in English Education from the University of Montana. So welcome. Uh, 
Uh, we're very excited to add to our social studies staff uh, just an outstanding teacher who has great experience. She's a BC graduate, and so it's all another uh, great opportunity to have a BC grad come home. Uh, her picture's on the screen. She couldn't join us uh, tonight. She had a baby about a month ago, so I said, uh, you know, we'll get you working in, in September, right? But Dr. Melissa Hibbard uh, will be teaching US government, US history, world history and psychology. She has a BA in history and psychology from Carroll College, her teacher certification from the University of Montana Western, a Master of Arts in history from the University of Chicago, Illinois, and she just defended and successfully um, received her doctorate in history from the University of Chicago, Illinois. So what a great talent we have coming on board. So the, the next gentleman that we're going to add to our staff is a, a guy that I've been friends with for many years. He's going to be a great addition to our teaching staff, and that's Mr. Perry Hobaker. Come on up, Perry. <laughs> Perry is, a, uh, is going to be teaching general business, accounting one, uh, some computer awareness, and he will also moderate uh, some periods of our dual credit program where students will be taking their dual credit classes online and he'll be the moderator uh, of those students as they're working on their dual credits. Uh, Perry is a, uh, an accountant by trade. He has a, a Bachelor's uh, of Arts in Accounting from Eastern Montana College. He's a certified public accountant. He's a CPA. And he has extensive uh, accounting background in both public and corporate accounting. And most recently was the CFO for community counseling and corrections, so he'll be a great addition to our staff. <laughs> Russ Nelson, who uh, has the best music and band program in the state, will be returning as our music director at the high school. Russ will have beginning band, advanced band, guitar one and two, and pep band, and so uh, one of the uh, Podcast, uh, one of the popular podcasts in the state called our pep band, the best pep band in the state of Montana. And he was exactly right, right? <laughs> We're uh, thrilled in our science department to add uh, Lena Whalen. Uh, Lena will be teaching pre-chemistry. Her picture's on the uh, screen right now. Chemistry, honors chemistry, and physics. Uh, Lena has a BA in chemistry from the University of Montana, secondary ed certification with a minor in biology from Montana Tech, and a master's of education in curriculum and instruction from University of Montana. And so that'll be ex uh, very exciting that because she has an advanced degree, she'll be able to teach advanced uh, level courses, but also dual credit uh, through the Montana Tech Jumpstart program on campus. So she'll be a fantastic addition to our staff. So that's uh, Lana Whalen. Lane away, lay away, excuse me, lay away. To round out our staff, we have uh, Carrie Hellier. Carrie will be again working in the Cody Resource Program and in our Title I services for students that, uh, that have uh, special academic needs. So again, if you, if you look at the faculty that we've assembled at the elementary school and at the high school, uh, you can see why we're very, very excited uh, about the start of the school year. Um, one of the things I'd like to address before we move forward, I know that there'll be a big question about what's our uh, status of our principal's position at the high school. Uh, right now, Don Ann and I are working together to be the administrative leaders of our school system. We're both certified licensed principals. And we have several strategies in place to start school tomorrow if we had to. And I'm pleased to announce that we do have some ca a candidate that we're very excited about and we're going to be meeting later in the week. But right now, the plan is I will serve as the interim principal. And uh, again, we have candidates uh, going forward. So just keep, uh, keep tuned, and uh, we'll let you know. But it's, we have a great plan, and uh, the schools are ready to go. And uh, it's going to be a great year. So anyway, that's, the, that's the, the message I would like to give right now as far as our administration goes for, for the school year. So I'd like to invite Dawn Ann back real quickly to talk about some of her high school or uh, elementary school programs for the year.
We will bring back the Bishop Thomas program, which is an enrichment class, and it is geared toward higher level math. And we do have 99.9% .9 sure a person ready to take that on. And uh, I'm excited to have him aboard. He'll, he'll do a great job with the math program. So also, I kind of already said that we'll have Becky as our new religious coordinator. And I want to stress how excited I am. And I want to thank Dawn for, you know, that's something I proposed at the beginning of the year. And I just think it's, it's key to us growing and strengthening all around. And so, and I'm really excited to have her because she's, she's a great religion teacher and she's been doing it for a few years now. So that's a new program that we were able to get approved and implemented. So I'm excited about that. Uh, Peggy Cambage, since she's going to just be part-time at second grade, uh, her other part-time position is going to be an instructional coach, and pretty much an instructional coach is an educational leader that works to mentor our beginner teachers uh, with less than four years' experience, but she also is a liaison between um, our experienced teachers and someone that can help promote different programs or different curriculum if we need. She'll just be a connection that, that we need and also to help, to help me. And I'm excited to have her aboard. So those are the things that we have going right now for the K through eight. Uh, individualized kind of pathway to section. Well, thanks, Don Ann. Again, I'd like to thank Don Ann for her great work as a social leader. Uh, 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 I think that, uh, as I mentioned earlier, we have great growth in our schools. Um, right now, our elementary school is up over 40 students alone. And I just think the, the, the program that she helped build with her faculty uh, is a huge part of that. So thank you. So. I'd like to invite uh, Diane Johnson to come forward and speak briefly about our new 7th through 12th grade math concept. We're very excited about what we've envisioned for our math program in our middle school and our high school. And again, with uh, Diane and Denise, we have incredible teachers, and they have an incredible strategy to make our 7th through 12th grade program even better than it already is. Come on up, Diane. Hello, everyone. Um, our, the, the program Don talks about is called the Alex program. And what it is, it is an online program and it's not much different than other programs you've seen, except for the fact that it really allows the teacher to get in there and monitor how students are doing. So we've already introduced it to uh, our every student in seventh through twelfth grade. They've been they've taken the assessment. Once they take the assessment, an individualized pathway is set for them because the program picks out the areas where those students are. Uh, not feeling quite as confident as they should have and or should be and what we we found and I think any math teacher will tell you that math starts in first grade it's a very unique discipline it, it, it's first grade builds to second grade third grade and I always tell my kids that it's like a staircase and so as you build a staircase you have steps there but if some of those steps are missing it's hard to get to the top of the staircase. And that's exactly what happens in mathematics. It has to start in first grade, and it builds. Now, if students fall behind at all in the lower grades, by the time they reach the upper grades, they've already lost their confidence. They think they can't do it. And just the opposite is true. Every kid is able to do it if the gaps are filled in and if every step is in place for their staircase. And the Alex program allows them to do this. So like I said, we've already assessed the kids. Their program is set. Now it's up to the students. So we asked our kids to spend 10 hours during the summer on the program. We have seen kids who have worked with this last spring and seen their grades improve already. One student in particular on the ACT scored a 17, which meant if he entered college, he would have to take the lowest math class course there was. Well, he worked on this for 10 weeks, 10 weeks, and he's already lifted his score up to where he can take college algebra or even a, a, cl a class above that. So the program is extremely useful. It's individualized, and I know we've all seen programs like that, especially in math. We've seen, oh, this program is excellent, this is excellent. But this one is individualized. After the assessment, the pathway is laid, 
the, the uh, weaknesses are picked out so that per, the uh, program is individualized. The student works on only those areas where they have fallen short. If they've mastered a, a, a concept, well then they're not, they don't have to practice that. So um, I'll answer any questions you might have, but uh, so far they've been assessed, their program is laid. To log into the program is extremely easy. Even I can do that, and I was born long before computers came into being, and I can get on that program and get in there. The kids know how to log on. If they forgot their password, they can change the password real easily. Secondly, and lastly, it depends on what the student puts into it because that's exactly what they're going to get out of it. It's not going to replace the classroom teacher. We will be teaching every day. This will be a supplemental aid for us so that we can monitor how the kids are doing on this, but especially for the students. Parents, we're asking you to make sure that the kids do this. Have them get on the computer. Ten hours during the summer, that's nothing. So one, one kid thought he had to put 10 hours a week in it. And so he was so relieved when we said, no, that's the whole summer. So anyway, that's the Alex program. You can get online. They have a wonderful introductory uh, program for that that walks you through and shows you everything the program does. And we are really excited because if we can align 7th through 12th grade, there's no stopping us in the math program. Anyway. So thank you so much. Thank you, Diane, and uh, I think it is going to be a very ex uh, exciting tool for us. Um, I know that many of our students this year were able to take their senior level uh, math courses at Montana Tech through, the, through the, uh, either the Jumpstart program or right on campus. And I think that's a big goal that we have is to prepare kids by the time they're a senior in high school to be able to take calculus at the college level. And the other thing that I thought was really fantastic about it is you know, kids that may be going on to a special trade, they can also model their program to prepare them for the lineman school or, or whatever mathematics that would apply to their, their career path. So I just think it's, it's, it's amazing. And um, again, I can't boast enough, I get, we can call it brag enough, I guess, that Dr. Lakovich and Diane are just incredible math teachers. So it's, it's going to be great. So. So at the high school, I'll just briefly talk about a few of the, the little credits or courses on campus. Uh, Dr. Hibbard and uh, Doc, or, um, Mrs. Way, uh, Whalen will be teaching classes on campus. So I know that's a big um, desire of our kids is not to have everything online. We'll be offering more dual credits on campus, which will be great. We're currently in this going to be to expand the scope and energy of the Bishop Thomas Scholars and Readers may participate in all high school sports except football. So currently we're working with our coaching staffs to, to develop strategies and policies for eighth grade participation. But I, I really do think that that's gonna create some exciting opportunities for eighth graders to expand their, their pursuit of athletics. And so again, thank you for being here tonight. I know summer to, uh, times to have a room fill up like this tonight is really, um, uh, exciting. I appreciate the parents. I especially appreciate our faculty. And uh, I, I can't tell you enough how excited we are for the fall. It, it's, it's just really exciting to see expanded and growing enrollment. We've assembled an amazing staff. We're going to continue to be a community of faith where prayer and uh, spiritual development will be a big part of who we are every day and every moment. And I just can't, I just really believe it's going to be a great year for Butte Central Catholic Schools. Uh, I'll certainly, and I know Don Ann will be around. If you have any questions, we'll be, be glad to answer those tonight. And again, thank you for all your support and for choosing Butte Central Schools for your children. Thank you.